Welcome to another episode. In this episode, we'll be making an anti theft alarm system with IR sensor module. This sensor can work with 5 volts. We'll be making use of 7805, 2 pin socket, 1k resistor, 1k resistor, 47k resistor. 22 microfarad capacitor, 22 microfarad capacitor, 4 pins IC socket, buzzer to notify us if there is anybody in our area, our perimeter. So, the robot is here. Let's go. Okay, I'll be starting with my IC socket. Your IC socket is always facing the left from follow my instruction from my instruction it's always facing the left okay let's see we are trying to see the best way to go about this okay so this is my middle this is the middle of my board so i'll be starting with my 47 k but before that let's do that this is our socket first so it doesn't fall off, doesn't fall off, so it doesn't fall off. Let's go from top to bottom now. Yeah, so your sodium ion coming first. So I'll be putting it from the back so you can have a view of what I'm doing from the back. So I'll be soldering from the sideways. Okay, let's do the same for this. Sideways. 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 Alas, we are done with that. So, let's proceed to the next stitch. Let's bring in our 47k resistor. Bend it, bend it, bend it. So bend it at an angle of 90 degrees. An angle of 90 degrees. And from pin seven of your IC, count two O's upward. One, two, Three. If you bend your 47k resistor very well, it should occupy only four holes. The first one to enter, the other one, the last one for the last leg to enter. We are good with that. Let's put our tape on this. Okay. So now we can turn on our soldering iron back. Okay, so let's cut the legs. So now we need to cut the legs. So can we see what we have so far? Yeah. So the longest leg of your capacitor is the positive, while the shortest leg is the negative. But looking at this capacitor, the legs are not shiny so they are kind of coated so let's just use our if you have any sharp object like bleach you can use to scratch it but let me use my nose plier to scratch it to make it so the reason why we are scratching the surface of these legs is to allow it to conduct because we don't make it shiny like that it might end up not staying on the board very well it might cause dry joints Dry joint is the process whereby this, the, the component is on the board but is not connected to any point due to dry soldering. So let's bend this. The reason why we are bending it is 
to make our circuits compatible. No, we want to pack it and you know, implement and embed it in any corner of our house. So, if it's too tall, it might be causing problem while packing. The capacitor will be coming. The capacitor will come into pin six, just opposite our resistor. So we just count two holes from pin six. One, two. On the third O, let's place in our capacitor. So from what we have now, the capacitor will be taking three holes. The first one for our longest leg, second one for our positive for our negative leg, which is the shortest leg. Let's put our paper tip on this. Let's shoot. Our capacitor is on the board, beautiful. Let's look at our board. Okay, we have thank you on ground. So our thank you, thank you resistor we're going to pin four. The reason why we are taking our thank you resistor from pin two to pin four is because on pin four we'll be taking a positive rail to pin four. So let's do that. So okay, so let's count two O's. Okay, let's take a single above pin two, one. On the second O, let's drop our tank resistor. So as usual, we are looking at four O's. So if you bend your resistor very well, you should span within those four O's. So look at it. So you should, you should be having this. And we want our circuit to be more compatible. So let's turn on our soldering iron again. Okay. Sorry. Let's cut. So we are okay. Let's move forward. Now we have our resistor connecting from pin 2 to the track just ahead of pin 4. Even though it's still going to pin 4 when we start routing, we we'll turn it to pin 4. So we we'll go to the 73 to 5. A voltage regulator. Remember, the reason why we are using this voltage regulator is because our board is making use of 5 volts from the 12 supply. So right now, we'll be making, we'll be bringing the 72 to 5 from pin 8. Count two O's to your left. One, two, three. Pin 8 of the IC socket. So we'll be bringing our 72 to 5 from pin 8 of the IC socket to the left, one, two, three. So let's take it forward towards me. One, two, three. So we'll be dropping it on the third leg from the coordinate we just specified. One, two, three, from the first, from the pin eight to the left. One, two, three from there towards me. So let me let me step with this. So let's sort. Let's switch off our sorting iron. So it's up our board.
okay we are good to go this is a nice layout what next we need to start bringing in our sockets so our supply sockets will be coming from the 70 to 5 let's count let me check one two three four five so count five upwards from 70 to 5 the third leg one two three four five drop your sockets put it down with paper tip so so let's sew that so let's sew this let's sew this okay we'll do it this way from the side okay so we are done let's move forward what we are doing now is bringing our socket from our pin 5 of the IC pin let's count so this is our signal socket the one that will be connected to pin 3 so let me show you it's 2 pin so let's count towards our right from the pin 5 of the IC socket 1 2 on the third one Let's count towards me. One, two. So let's drop it on the third one as well. Yes. Let's hold it down. Oh. So I'm trying to show that. Okay, so let's so do that. Let's go now. So let's shoot the other leg. We are good to go. This is nice. This is really great. Um, okay. So let's bring in our jumper. Our jumper. So okay. Our jumper will be going from pin 3 of our IC socket to the last pin. So let's strip it. Our pin 3 will go from our jumper will be going from pin 3 to the last pin of our signal socket because pin 3 is the output and we'll be taking it to our signal socket so we can plug in our buzzer to it. So let's measure from pin 3. Let's cut. So we are good with this. Let's pull this back a little. We don't need to hold it. So if you are using a plier, can you to hold it? Using a nose plier. So so let's bend. Ninety degrees. To our right, 90 degrees from pin 3. So, on the, beneath the resistor, you'll be crossing from pin 3 to the up socket. So, just count 1, 2, the hole beneath the resistor, then the third hole after the resistor from pin 3. Fix your jumper, then come to your socket.
okay i'm trying to put it right now but it's like it's too long oh it's too long so there's no problem just so the iron around so we can, can sink sink a little more so now we have a perfect straight line so I'll be straight line right now so let's do justice to that by soldering it underneath so we are soldering let's solder the other leg so we've done that successfully let's cut the leads away So we've done that. Let's start bringing out our pin out. But before that, that should be the last thing because we need to do our second our circuit routing first. So our circuit routing is about to start. So let me look at the board. Are we missing anything? Not for now. So let's start our circuit routing. So focusing on our circuit routing, let me show you what the pins are for. Pin one will be going to ground. Coming from here, pin 2 is our trigger pin which will be connected to our sensor. We are using a pull down, we are using a pull up resistor to pull it up because the signal we are expecting from the sensor is negative, the negative signal. So we are using a pull up resistor to pull up the trigger pin whenever there is no signal. Pin 3 is the output, so it will be the one to feed the buzzer. So whenever anything is happening in the system, it will be to want to supply the, the components or any device you are using. Pin 4 is the reset pin, which we are connecting to our CTF. Pin 5, we are not using that. Pin 6 and pin 7 are joined together. And we are taking it to the positive leg of the capacitor and the negative leg of the resistor, the 47K resistor. Pin 8 is the supply pin. Pin 8 is going to our supply, our 5 volt supply. The socket over here is supply socket which will be connected to 7 to 5. The first pin is coming from 12 volts to the first leg of the 7 to 5 which is 12 volts input. The, the pin inward is the negative pin going to the middle of the 7 to 5. The last pin will be the voltage regulator, regulating pin which is 5 volts, so it will be regulating whatever this 725 is taking in, then giving out our desired 5 volts. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's move on. So, our pin 1 will connect to the middle of our 725. So, let's proceed on the routing. Okay, Nine. Okay, let's go now. Okay, so I'll be starting the routing from the 12 volt socket. So the negative, let's roll. Now, are you riding with me? So continue to come here where I'm soldering. One O at a time. Don't forget one O at a time. There's no point in you rushing and everything, but once you're taking it one O at a time, before you know you are done, One O at a time. So before you know, can you see? Already on our negative. So let's do the same for our 12 volts input. Yes. So we have successfully done that. That's great. So let's move on. Let's move on to taking the 725 to our positive. The 5 volts from the 725 will be taken to our positive right now, which is our pin 8. 
So let's bring this one inwards a little. Then it's getting to what again. Okay. So we're almost there. So the next the next move is so we are connecting our pin eight to pin four. We are good to go. So our pin eight has gone to pin four. This is great. So let's look at it. Our pin two to our first leg of our ten k. Let's do so pin two to the first leg of our ten k. Pin one to the ground. that's off so we have connected our IC socket pin 1 to negative to ground let's see so our let's connect our the other leg of our resistor so I'm connecting the other leg of my resistor now to pin 4 so watch me as I do this Okay, this is nice. So I'll be taking my jumper from pin three to. Okay, I'll be taking my jumper from to pin three. I'll be taking my jumper to pin three. Let's go. Let's track. So we are good. So right now we have our jumper from pin 3. So let's connect our jumper to, to our supply. Sorry, to our output socket. Let's do so. One O at a time. One O at a time. Okay, so that is on. Switch it off. So the train is going, we are drawing the track.
okay now we are there so let's take the other leg of the track the, legal, the other leg of the supply pin to our output socket so the other leg of this output socket we are taking to negative ray come from the supply let me turn on my solenoid iron so let's do this let's do this Yes, so we are trying to bring everything together. Switch this off. Idea. This is great. So, right now we have sorted everything at the lower part of the board. That's what's saying true. So, so far we've sorted everything at the lower part. Everything right here. So, let's move to the top. So, you are at the top. Okay, let's go, let's go. We are draining our pin six to our pin seven first. Pin six to pin seven. Pin six to pin seven. Okay, we've done that. Also, I connected my capacitor, my 22 microfarad capacitor to my 47k resistor. I joined the both legs together. Now, it's time to separate the kings from the queens. Let's go. We are taking the capacitor to our negative rail. So we done okay. So let's do that for our positive rail too. So so we'll be taking our resistor to the pin eight. So we are done with that. Salavi. Let's see, let's take a look at our board. What's missing? Let's look at the bottom. Okay. So the capacitor is connected to the ground rail. The resistor is coming from pin six. Okay, the resistor is coming from pin seven to the positive rail. It's connected to the capacitor 
on pin 6. The positive is coming from pin 8 down to pin 4. Okay. We have a pull up resistor, 10k resistor from pin 2 to the positive. We are using a jumper to jump from pin 3 to the supply socket, sorry, to the output socket. Our pin 1 is connected to the negative rail. Our 72 5, the first leg is connected to our pin 8. The second leg is connected to our ground rail. While the third leg, which is the input pin, the one by our left, is connected to our 12 supply. So let's begin the jumpers before we start separating. Like I so we'll be doing this in a stylish manner. Okay, okay. So. So I'll be using the legs from my the legs from my for my components, the one I cut not so early ago. Okay, so let me use this part. Okay, okay, let's let's use this part for our studio so we can have everything at one section. So let's go. Okay, before, let me go. Okay. I'm coming, just doing an overview. So the iron is not on. Get the four to positive the other leg. Get this pin three. Get this pin one. So this one should come to pin two. While waiting for the student to get out, I'm just trying to stretch the legs. Um, okay, so let's do this. Watch me. Now watch me. Okay, I need to wait a little bit for the student to get out. Like we are there, we are we are up already. Okay. We are, we are doing, we have done so well. So let's start streaming our jumpers. Okay. Let the separation begin. So let's separate.
we are separating to make sure that nothing is So let's test before before you introduce your your IC you need to test first so because your IC may not be able to get it in hand or like easy like that so let's plug this as supply let's check okay just all this soldering let me just put a little So, here comes our multimeter, our best friend in the show. So, it's on 20 volts DC right now because what I'm expecting is below 20 volts. Well, if you are expecting anything higher than 20 volts, you take to 200. Anything higher than 200, you take to 1000. But whatever you are measuring must be below the range you are putting your knob on. So I'll be taking my positive probe to pin 8, my negative pin 8 of the IC probe to pin 1 of the IC. So let's switch it on. Salave, we have 5 volts. So our terminals, polarity, everything is correct. That's nice. Let's go to pin 4. Let's our positive probe to pin 4 of our IC. We have 5 volts, right? That's nice. Let's move to the leg of our uh, of our resistor coming from pin 2. The second leg. So we have 5 volts. That's 5 volts at this output is because we are using the 17 to 5, which is supplying 5 volts to the board through the 12 volt supply. The 12 volt supply enters the board. Then 17 to 5 helps to regulate it to 5 volts. So, we have 5 volts. Let me check. So, you have, if you are having anything like minus, then you need to check your board. Okay, we are good to go. So, let's switch this off. Always disconnect your supply. So, you can be two steps sure. So, let's link. Let's just press our IC towards the board so to form a 90 degree angle. Yeah, I'm just trying to straighten the legs. I'm putting on the board. Our buzzer will be coming into the output socket. Now, this sensor. Right here, we need to. So brown start for positive in this on this show. On this episode, I'm using brown for positive. The white with brown stripes is the signal pin. White the blue with white stripe is the negative. Oh, I can have your instances. Okay, so let's. Yes, so I'm trying to connect. Run this. So let's go. So we are connecting our negative strand of our sensor to the negative rail we provided earlier. So the signal we're going to pin to. And you need to be very, very mindful of these things so that it won't bridge with another 
track in the process. Pin and on our positive, we're going to derail beneath the 10 k resistor. That's our positive rail. So let me just shift it back a little. Yeah. So we are good. Let's check the back. Even though we have separated it, but it's okay. We check. So we are fine. So. So we are about to start a test. So let me connect my supply. My supply is connected. So let me switch it on. Can you see I have a green light coming on at the sensor? Can you see? So anytime it senses motion, it sounds. So anytime it senses motion, the green light will come on, the other green light will come on, that one will flash, then go off. Can you see? So if you want to adjust the sensitivity and we want to adjust the sensitivity this is a wave resistor over here you just tune it when you get it when you are getting this for the first time the light both the lights are always on together so you need to adjust it most times so you can have only the green light by your right to come on then whenever it senses anything the other light will come on okay so right now we have this. So, see you in the next episode. Thank you.